What's up? This is your Captain Ice saying what is we here to do One Piece chapter 855 live reaction slash review and we have Corazon and Law on the front page. You know back in the day and Corazon's Philly coats on file. <sighs> Rest in peace, goes on. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. <sighs> but okay, let's get into this chapter of One Piece. Lord Bobbin, what in the world was that? I guess heard some crazy noise from over for there. There's a this whole. And along, bring Big Mom Pilot's shoulder, soldier bishop, Bobbin the Fixer. His name is Bobbin or Bob, and he fixes things. Make make all the jokes from that you, that you want. Just keep them coming. Just keep yes, keep them coming. Come on, make all the jokes. But apparently, he has some power to put people to sleep when he's um doing um doing something. You know he's. You know, walking back and forth, you know, boing, boing, and he's putting, he's putting this guy to sleep, and I, nothing to, nothing to worry about, stand down, I will fix this. Since Sanji's rushing off to see Luffy, even Hell's demons make appearances at Mama's tea parties. Okay. So I'm guessing that at some point Luffy and Sanji are gonna fight Bobbin, the Fixel, and he's actually and he's Wayne's bishop. Okay, and we have the Neo Ward. Oh, and the oh. Sleeping with Bing uh, sleeping with B Big Mom. Now, our context. That sounds just plain nasty. But in context, it's the the actually s sleeping, actually sleeping. Which, okay. So. And is she awake? What's that, a fly? Um. Okay. Well, okay. Whenever I see a fly buzzing a buzzing a around my room, on my house. Yeah, I thought I got overkill. But just for a fly, he just destroys the floor. And Prometheus and Zeus and Napoleon and they go back to sleep. Okay, and a dog trying to go after Sanji's food. 
Okay, uh, okay, uh, they make a fake book. Okay, so, uh, that's pretty good. But, uh, they found it in the execution room. Okay, I, I, at this point, I'm not, I'm, I'm not shocked. But that's a pretty good, it's a pretty good fake. It's a pretty damn good fake. Challenge one, shuffle. He sneezes, and yes. Challenge two, cut. Try to wake Book up and Zeus wakes up. And Pedro and Mama's talking and taunting. Pedro doesn't want to get caught up in that shit. Can't blame you. Uh, we, we've done it. Big Mom's finally let go of Book. Okay, I'll go now. Look, <sighs> persistent. F okay, so heavenly f and Jim Bay saves the day and leaves a fake book behind. Alice goes to Sweet City. Okay, so it seems like this chapter is focusing on two things at once. Fine story, I guess they came here to find you, and sh and you sure did go crazy. Uh, um, at the moment, we have saw. Okay, uh, okay, and okay, and. These were the people who, well, well, this was the, the army that that, uh, that Luffy, um, uh, Luffy beat down before. Okay, and back in the mirror world again. You surprised me. That was the last thing I was expecting. You surprised us. What kind of uh, why did you scream? We, we almost died. Well, all that aside, I'm very glad to see you all alive. I thought I was going to die. Ah, I'm already dead. Yo, <laughs> skull jokes. I suppose the fact that you saw that securing that means that. Must have been quite impossible for you to steal a rubbing of the road pongliff. But no matter, it was an impossible task. I'm sorry to have put all, all your lives in, in danger. No, not at all. Please. This was for this was uh, this was all for us in, in the first place, as you said, because we snuck in. Just the two of us this was a once in a lifetime chance. He opened up his skull. If we, if we ever end up having to steal our pond left from Big Mom again, I doubt we'd be able to be able. We'd be able to with. I doubt we'd be able to without a full scale pilot war. Kara and G G G G Jimmy are kind of shocked that he's opening up his skull to get something out. Ah, uh, he can't kill you all the rubbing. Anyway, as I was saying, and he actually got it. Wow. Uh, yeah. And he's just doing that so casually, like Diesel and uh, Boulay are actually seeing this. Okay, that's one of just a demo. All you gotta do is get Luffy and Sanji. Okay, and Sanji 
find Luffy by the growl of his stomach. And, and that's, of course, why the title of the chapter is Title Growl. That makes sense, okay. But, okay, the pacing for this chapter was. It was decent. I mean, we focused on two points at once. Mostly, it, mostly it was, uh, it was basically Chapo, Kalit, Nami, Kalit, and you know, Chimbe and and Pedro kind of what you what you block. Book revealing that he did indeed get the uh, rubbing from the uh, road Poneglyph. You know, he did manage to actually, you know, get them back. Well, that was before Big Mom showed up. And because his skull does open up, you know, he can hide various shit in there. I do, however, have to question um, how much space he has in that skull because the low polyglyph itself is huge. And the piece of paper and the papers he had to do the rubbing on, again, were huge. So, you know, even, you know, even with those papers folded up, the way that they wall. That's still a lot of. That's still a lot of. That's still a lot of. That's a less bulk. It's a lot of bulk in, way inside the human s s skull. And the way <coughs> Oda has Brook's head size, it's not even the size of my head. It's like it's a lot thinner. So basically, this is basically the size of Brooks' skull. You know, he he he, he on the top part of his skull. It's about like like it's about like that size. So I'm guessing the people he used, well, the people he used. Um, especially footed up would be about as thick <laughs> as this book. Probably, but seeing how there were, I think there were like three or four paper pieces of paper. So, so you can just <laughs> imagine the the. Piece of the sheets of paper being like thick on thick on thick, like like that thick in his skull. But at the same time, this is manga. This is One Piece. There is a lot of shit that that doesn't make sense when it comes to physics. You know, you know, apparently a. a Apparently, uh, Brook can actually hide a, a, a lot of big shit in his skull, but I would sit, but, I, but, I'm, but I'm still questioning how much he can actually fit in there. Cause, uh, cause, I mean, even though he is dead, you know, he's a skeleton. Um, you know, he still needs a brain. So, how in the hell is that shit fitting in his skull while his brain is in now? Or does he have a brain? And if he doesn't, how the, how the hell is he thinking? You know, you know, how does that walk? Unless, unless his book 
confused. Look, just existing. The, the, the way that he is con con confuses me, and I know it's manga, it's One Piece, but seriously, you do need a brain to live. So, and <laughs> I know this is devil of food. Pal, maybe the devil. Maybe you should know, Maybe when he oh. Uh, maybe when he oh. Uh, maybe when he originally died, his devil flute power um preserved his brain. But I'm kind of getting off track now. Overall, the chapter was okay. And okay, plus, um, I just wish that we would, I just, we really wish the pacing would pick up some, but I'm thinking the pacing will pick up in, a, in, a, in the next two chapters, I hope. But yeah, that's all that, that I have to say for this actual video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share my channel with your friends. This is your captain, I say, what is the saying out? Peace.